I'm sure you're wondering, what's on my back? Yes, that's a shell. Can you guess what we're going to learn about today then? I heard someone say turtle, but I heard someone else say tortoise. What could it be? In a place you want to discover, there's so much to uncover. Are you an explorer? Yes! Then join us on an adventure. All you need to do is look closely, think carefully, solve many problems. Wait! That's not all. We are the Wonder Space Explorers. We create things big or small and beautiful. We are W O N D E R F U L. We are wonderful. La 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 la. Wonder Space. Welcome to Wonder Space with Miss Natalie. What could it be? Turtles and tortoises are very similar. They're so similar that some people may call a tortoise a land-dwelling turtle. Interesting fact. All tortoises are turtles, but not all turtles are tortoises. Tortoises and turtles are reptiles and they both have shells. Tortoises and turtles are closely related. Even though tortoises and turtles look quite similar, there are some important differences between them. Let's look at the differences between a turtle and a tortoise. Tortoises live on land and turtles spend most of their time in the water. Turtles and tortoises have shells, but if we look very carefully, there are some differences that we can spot. Turtles have a lighter shell on their backs. Their shells are flat. Tortoises, on the other hand, have heavier shells on their back and they have more of a dome shape. Hmm, let's take a close look at my paper shell here. Does it belong to a turtle or a tortoise? Well, it's quite a large shell. It's a dome shape. And let's pretend that it's quite heavy. <gasps> Yes! Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Exactly! This shell belongs to a tortoise! Today, we're going to be learning about tortoises in Ghana. In Ghana, we have different types of tortoises. One of the most common types of tortoises is the hingeback tortoise. I have a little surprise for you today, Wonder Space Explorers. We're going to see a real tortoise. This is a very special tortoise. Are you ready for adventure? Yay! Woo! Can you guess where we are? We're going to meet a very important man and a very special tortoise. Come follow me. What? Can you see what we see? Oh my gosh, come closer, come closer. Hi everybody, I'm Gregory and I'm Australia's High Commissioner in Ghana. So my job is to represent Australia uh, and build relations between Ghana and, and Australia. And this is Brucey, our African spurred tortoise. Yes. Okay, wow. So we just met the Australian High Commissioner and he lives in Ghana, but it's originally from Australia. Do you know where Australia is on the map? Good job. We have some questions from our Wonder Space Explorers online, and they asked some amazing questions, and they asked me to ask Mr. Gregory some questions about Brucey. Are you ready to hear those questions? Awesome. So our first question is from Yoni in Accra, and he says, how old is Brucey the tortoise? How old is Brucey? Now that's an interesting question. We don't know exactly how old he is, but we know that in the wild, these tortoises can be up to 50 or 70 years. Wow. But also in places like this where it's safe and there's no predators or people hunting them, they could live up to 100. So we think that he's at least 50. He's older than me. Yeah. Brucey is older than all of us here. Whoa, Brucey. Okay, the next question we have is from Kwame in London. And he says, 
How big is Brucey? Well, you can see Kwame, he's about as big as me, <laughs> but he weighs a lot more than me. I, I, I seriously, if I try to pick him up, <laughs> oh, he's too heavy. <laughs> so he probably weighs over a hundred kilograms. <gasps> Brucey weighs over a hundred kilograms. Do you know how heavy that is? That is really, really heavy. All right. And so you've actually answered one of the questions that we had from Barry Ma, who's also in Accra. Oh. And the next question we have is, what does Brucey the tortoise like to eat? If we come closer, we can see him eating already. As you can see, he loves mango skin. Whoa, so Brucey loves mango skin? And he also really enjoys pawpaw. So this morning for breakfast, he had some pawpaw and some mango. And he actually eats this grass a lot too. Oh. As you can see, he's got quite bad manners and he gets food all over his face. <laughs> so Brucey loves mango. Popo, and he eats all the grass in the house as well. So mangoes, pawpaws, and grass. What does that make Brucey? Brucey is a herbivore. That's right. And herbivores eat plants. I'm going to pet Brucey. Another question that we have, we have a question from Kofi in Texas. And he says, when you first got him, was he angry? Uh, he's never been angry. Bruce is always peaceful, happy, and friendly. Okay. I've never seen him lose his temper, ever. Okay, so Brucey never gets angry. Brucey is always happy and always peaceful. And as you can see, he's letting me pet his shell. Did you know that tortoises have sensitive shells? They can feel through their shells. I think he likes this, where he can feel the scratching of his fingernails. But I also like to give him a pat behind his neck in here, a little bit of a muscle, muscle rub. He likes that as well. You can see at the moment he's more interested in eating though. <laughs> One question that we have is, how fast does Brucey move? Well, <laughs> he's timed it perfectly. This is his maximum speed. We have a question from Helena in Wisconsin and she said, how tall is Brucey? Well, you can see tor tortoises aren't really famous for being tall. <laughs> At all. Um, he's probably about 50 centimeters tall, I think. Okay. Yeah, and he's about a bit over a meter long, his shell. Oh. And, and something interesting about these tortoises is they're called African spurred tortoise. And if you have a look here, this is why, because on their front legs, they have spurs which look a little bit like, you know, sharp spikes from a dinosaur or a dragon, mm -hmm. but they, they, they don't actually hurt. You can see that, but that's why he's called an African spurred tortoise because he has these. And this species is the third biggest tortoise in the world. So the African spurred tortoise are the third largest tortoise in the whole wide world. That's really, really big. And so that's why they need three people to carry Brucey. And as Mr. Gregory said, he has spurs, and that's why he's known as the African Spurred Tortoise. Wow, Brucey is so interesting. Mr. Gregory, can we find African Spurred Tortoise anywhere in Ghana? And which part of Ghana are we most likely to see a tortoise like Brucey? African Spurred Tortoises are indigenous to the north of Ghana, oh. which means that's where they're from. But now they're very rare there because of the habitat destruction and poaching. <gasps> yes. So you'll find them in Ghana, Cote d'Ivoire, Burkina Faso, Mali, Chad, uh, oh. right across the, the north of Ghana yes. and the Sahel region. Okay. But their numbers are declining. And that's why many people in Ghana may not know that they belong here as well. So what, what do you love about Brucey? I think what I really like about Brucey is that he's a unique animal and what I'm most worried about is that as an endangered species that means that Brucey and his whole species are, is at risk of extinction and when oh, animals no. become extinct they're all gone yeah. and there'll be none left so the thing that I care most about 
is for people to look after nature and protect wildlife and protect habitat so that all species, including species like Brucey, the bird tortoise, can survive on our planet together with people. Yeah, wow. We don't want Brucey to be extinct, do we? No, we don't. So we're going to do exactly what Mr. Gregory said, protect nature. Thank One you. other question that we have is, does Brucey have any special skills? Yeah, well, I mentioned basketball, but something else quite amazing about Brucey is he's had a book written about him. So I'll give you this book. Oh, wow. And um, you can read it to the children that and they can wonderful. learn more about Brucey's adventures through our craft. That's amazing. Wonder Space Explorers, we got a new book. Wow, Big Bruce on the Loose. Are you excited to hear more about the story of Brucey? I am so excited. Thank you so much for this wonderful book. Yay! Do you think Brucey is going to recognize me with my shell? I'm twinning with Brucey. Brucey, I have a shell just like you. He's looking. Hi, Brucey. Do I look like you now? I don't think so. Brucey is way smarter than that. <laughs> look at the shell, Brucey. It looks like your favorite fruit, Papa. What do you think about it? <laughs> so you see, my shell is not as big as Brucey's shell. Brucey's shell is still way bigger. And remember, the shells are used to protect the tortoise. So he curls up as a ball and tucks himself into his shell. Let's hide together in our shell. Whoa, that was amazing! Brucey the tortoise moved faster than I thought he would. Mr. Gregory, the Australian High Commissioner, was also very kind and he answered all our questions. He even gave us a book about Brucey the tortoise. Can we say a big thank you to Mr. Gregory? Thank you, Mr. Gregory. Brucey the tortoise was also very friendly. He let me touch his shell. Remember, their shells are very sensitive, so he could actually feel me patting his shell. Do you remember what Brucey the tortoise likes to eat? That's right, mango skin, pawpaw, and the grass at Mr. Gregory's house. Let's have a quick quiz, shall we? Is Brucey the tortoise, the African spurred tortoise, a carnivore, omnivore, or herbivore? You guys are super! That's right, Brucey the tortoise is a herbivore. He eats plant materials. What else do you remember? Hmm, ah yes! Brucey, the African spur tortoise, is very heavy. He weighs at least 105 kilograms. <gasps> that is so heavy, so heavy that he needs at least three people to lift him up. Mr. Gregory told us something very important. He said that many years ago, we could find tortoises like Brucey in the northern part of Ghana. But nowadays, there are very few left. He said that they are endangered. Oh no! This means that there are so few left that they are in danger of vanishing forever. We don't want that to happen to Brucey or any other tortoise. Wonder Space Explorers, can you think of ways to protect our environment and our planet? You can send in your ideas to the email above. Can you guess what time it is? It's time for our art activity. Today, I'm going to show you how to make the tortoise shell with paper. Are you ready? Woohoo! You're going to need some card of different colors. You're going to need glue, scissors, a stapler. An adult might have to help you with a stapler and a hole puncher. Okay, so I'm starting with a piece of paper that's almost an A3 size, a bit bigger. And you need to draw arcs in the corners. Now to help you, you can use something rounded at home. I found a round tray. Okay. 
Can you see those? Great. Now when you have that, you might need an adult to help you with the cutting. Okay, so you have kind of like an oval shape now. Now what you need to do, oh, I forgot to say you need a ruler. Okay, so we're going to draw lines, two lines at the bottom, two lines at the top, and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm going to draw the lines. About this high. I'm going to turn it around and do the same on the other side. Okay, now I'm going to cut those lines. I'm sure you're wondering, why are we cutting? You're going to see in a moment. All right, so when I fold it over and I fold it again, can you see a dome shape forming? Great but I'm going to need staplers to hold them together. Okay, we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do next is we're going to create the patterns. If you look closely, you can tell that these shapes look almost like irregular hexagons. And these ones look like trapeziums. So you're going to create two of these and two of these. So let's do that now. All right. I'm going to cut these two shapes out and then I'm going to use these as a stencil for my others to make the work a little easier. Okay, let's see if the shape fit, fits on our dome. Yes, it does. Oh, it's already starting to look like a shell. Now, what we need to do is we're going to cut another set of shapes that are smaller, okay? Can you see that there are two layers? My darker paper. And remember, it needs to be smaller. I'll draw the larger one and draw a smaller one inside. Okay, now remember it needs to be smaller, so I'm going to go back in and draw a smaller shape. Okay, so I'm going to cut out the dark lines. So now what you need to do is glue on the darker side onto a lighter shape. We've made some progress, haven't we? Woo -hoo -hoo. All right, now we need to do the sides. Okay, so for the sides of our tortoise shell, we're going, you're going to need a shape, something like this. It looks like an upside down crest or a little hill. First, let's see if it fits nicely. All right, so yes, okay, it fits on our side. Remember Brucey the turtle shell? It wasn't necessarily the smoothest shell. It had some texture. So let's try and create texture with our paper. So what I'm going to do is cut out darker shapes. Now you can cut them out in interesting irregular shapes. Okay, to make it easier, you can cover the whole shape in glue and then put down the darker pieces. Time to 
stick the shapes on the side of our tattoo. All right, you might need to hold it down. It's really starting to look like a tortoise shell. I'm excited. Okay, now we have to stick the shapes on the other side. So I'm going to do that now. We have our tortoise shell. Hey, what does it look like in there? All right, I'm really happy with our tortoise shell. Now, if you would want, this is a mini version. This was a large version, which I was wearing earlier, but I wanted to make a smaller version so you could learn how to make one as well. If you want to um, be able to wear yours like a tortoise shell, you're going to have to make holes, okay? Punch holes on the side and punch holes on the side. And you might need an adult to help you put string through it or elastic so you can wear it on your back. Well done. I can't wait to see your turtle shell made of paper. In Ghana, we have lots and lots of different stories about tortoises, about the achichidie. These stories are known as folk tales. We have titles like How the Tortoise Got a Cracked Shell, How the Tortoise Learned to Fly, or The Tortoise and the Elephant. There's so many different types of stories about tortoises in Ghana. But today, we're going to read the book that Mr. Gregory gave us. The title of this book is Big Bruce on the Loose, A Journey Through Accra by Kyla Bevere and illustrated by Jesse Sunkwa Mills. I have a crack on the top of my shell. I was fast asleep when a coconut fell. My shell is for protection, so it didn't bruise. Did you see the crack on Bruce's shell in our video? But now I'm more careful when I'm choosing where to snooze. Ghana is my home and in this beautiful space, I relax all day with the sun in my face. I'm happy here and I love it a lot. But then one day I had a crazy thought. What if I see what's beyond this gate? What friends I find, what adventures await. Will the grass taste sweeter on the other side? I'll never know unless I try. With my nose and claw, I nudged open the door. The city of Accra was mine to explore. The flag waved black, green, yellow, and red. Then a woman walked by with a basket on her head. I asked to help and she said, how sweet. Then I walked together down the bustling street. The market was busy and so were my eyes, seeing things for sale in every shape and size. Colorful beads that were painted by hand and there drifted a rhythm that filled the land. The drums got louder. I was feeling the beat. And before I knew, I was shuffling my feet. Dance, dance, Brucey Turtle. Now, remember I said some people refer to tortoises as turtles? <laughs> said the people gathered around. All I saw were smiles from their faces looking down. When it was time for dinner, everyone was so nice. They offered me some of their jollof rice. Rice for a turtle? I'll try some. I dug right in. Nom, 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 yum. I burrowed down deep and dug a hole in the sand. Then I felt a blanket and the pat of a hand. Sweet dreams, Brucey Turtle. You've had a big day today. When tomorrow comes, we'll help you find your way. I woke up with the sun as it warmed my shell, then stretched my neck and wiggled my tail. I thanked my friends for their hospitality 
and promise more trips to the big city. Since my slow roll style made walking a no-go, they lifted me up on the top of a trotro. What fun, what fun. I was riding on the hood, I could smell the ocean, and the breeze felt good. Back to my gate, I was home again. I pushed it open and slipped right in. If there's one lesson this story goes to show, it's that good things come when you expand what you know. Step outside your shell and try something new. There's a big, big world and it's waiting for you. Brucey sounds like a wonder space explorer. We are always exploring and discovering new things just like Brucey. And at the back of the book, let's see. It says, meet the real Brucey. And we met Brucey earlier on. And Brucey is in Ghana with Miss Natalie and Mr. Gregory. I hope you enjoyed the story. You've learned so much today about Brucey the African Spirit Tortoise and more. I hope that you're going to keep exploring and discovering just like Brucey. Remember, there's a big, big world waiting for you. And as I always say at the end of our lessons, Wonder Space Explorers are wonderful. Remember, you are wonderful. Join us next time. Bye.